Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the contest median question, maximum average pass ratio. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. In this question, there is a school that has classes of students and each class will be having a final exam. And we are given a two-dimensional integer array classes where uh, each item in classes is another subarray of two items, pass and total. And we know beforehand that in the i class, there are total, uh, total students, but only pass number of students will pass uh, the exam. And we also have the uh, integer uh, extra students these are brilliant students that are guaranteed to pass the exam of any class they are assigned to. And multiple extra students can be assigned to the same class. And we want to assign uh, each of the extra students to a class in a way that will maximize the average pass ratio across all the classes. And here we define the pass ratio of a class is equal to the number of students of, a, of that class that will pass the exam divided by the total number of students of the class. And then the average pass ratio is the sum of pass ratios of all the classes divided by the number of the classes. And we have to return the maximum possible average pass ratio after assigning the extra students to optimize classes. So in example one, we can assign the two extra students to uh, the first class. And then the highest average pass ratio we can get is 0.78. And in example two, with a given uh, classes and four extra students, the highest pass ratio we can get is 0.53. And the data constraint for this question, the length of the classes array can go up to 10 to the power of five. The intuition to solve this question is a greedy algorithm. And greedy means that we will primarily assign extra student to a class uh, whose average score will increase the most. And to keep track of class that will have a highest score increase, we will use the heap data structure or so-called priority queue. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and the first step is to build a heap. And in Python, you can just use a standard list to form a heap, but to use a heap push and heap pop API to add and remove item from the heap. And for every item in classes, we will first calculate a delta. And delta means that if we assign an extra student to that class, how much will the average score change? And then we will push a tuple of negative delta pass and total into the heap. And why negative delta? That is because uh, the heap in Python is by default a minimum heap. And we want to keep track of the highest delta class. So in this way, the class with the highest uh, absolute delta will be pushed to the front of the heap. And next, we will start to assign the extra students. So first, uh, pop the first item from the heap and then assign the extra student and calculate the new delta after assigning the extra student and then push it back into a heap because we are able to assign a multiple extra students to the same class. And after assigning all the extra students, we will calculate the average pass ratio at the end and return rest. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at example two. This is a classes array, and we have four extra students. And the heap will be looking like this. And here we can see that uh, the first class, class two, four, has the highest uh, absolute delta, 0.1. It means that if we assign an extra student to this class, its average score will increase the most compared to other classes. So we will assign one extra student to it 
and then the new uh, delta and pass and total in the subray is a uh, point zero six seven and three five and then we'll push the new uh, tuple back into the heap and now in a new heap the class uh, 210 the fourth class now has the highest uh, delta so we will again assign one extra student to this class calculate the new delta pass and total and push it back to the heap and now we have two extra students left so now the new heap uh, class 39 has the highest absolute delta so again we will push one student into it calculate the new delta pass and total and get the new heap and repeat the same process now is the first class already got uh, one extra student and still have the highest delta so we will assign another extra student to it and then calculate the new delta pass and total and a new heap now we don't have any more extra students so the total average pass ratio will be the sum of a pass divided by total in each tuple in the heap and then divide it by the size of the heap which is uh, 0.534 in this example and this will conclude the algorithm finally let's review so the main algorithm to solve this question is the greedy approach and greedy is we primarily assign extra student to the class whose average score will increase the most and to achieve this, we use the heap or priority queue data structure. And the time complexity of this approach is big of n plus k log n for the heap. And then the space complexity is big of n. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.